everybody. It's Deb here with Creative Life. Welcome back, you guys, to week two of the It's All About Fall YouTube Hop. So today, you guys, we are doing a theme that is fall related, <laughs> and it is belief in yourself. So um, you are to use leaves and then do a positive message or, you know, something to that effect. So um, I did some leaves on a little beaded banner or string, okay, beaded string that I got from Walmart. And I picked this up, uh, I want to say a couple of weeks ago, maybe. And um, I just thought that this was so stinking cute. So I didn't want to paint it or anything. I, I loved the um, natural color of the beads and so I just left them like that and then um, uh, I went ahead and actually bought a um, little here it is there's a little um, wreath a little beaded wreath that was like this and it had this little leaf in it okay like this and um, I went ahead and cut it off and then I traced it on some paper um, because I didn't have a large enough leaf die. So um, I went and chased it on some paper and then traced it on some um, card or uh, yeah, like um, cardboard. Um, okay. And um, I went ahead and traced it on some cardboard, cut it out, and I just traced it four times and then cut it out. Um, then what I did is I went ahead and I used this paper here from Cat Scrappiness, it is Autumn Glitter, and you guys, this is so pretty. Now, this is not actual glitter paper. Um, it's it's actually printed glitter, okay? So, um, it is so pretty, though, and it's really sturdy. I love it, and it, I loved the colors that it had in this set. Um, I love the green, or I love all the colors. Anyway, I loved the really pretty themed colors in this paper. So I went ahead and got that. And I used that on the back of each little leaf to match the color of cardstock that I used. And I thought it went perfectly with this paper. So, um, so I went ahead and used the green cardstock is actually from Trace Jo Lee's uh, card kit that is for this month. So um, this is the one that I made with the bags. And so that is on here. And then this one here was just from my stash. And it's right here. And I didn't use that one. That one's not one that I used. Um, this one right here is actually or this one here, I believe. Or is it this one? I Now I can't remember which one it is. I think it's this one. And so I went ahead and um, wadded it up and then inked it. And then this one here is like a yellow mustard color. And it's this one right here. So how I got them um, kind of um, distressed is I went ahead and I sprayed each cardstock with water. And, um, and I'll just show you a brief sample here. Let me use a little one. So I just sprayed it with water like this and, and um, kind of push the water around. And then I used like a little paper towel to kind of dry it. Okay, because you don't want it too sopping wet. And then I just went ahead and crumpled it up. And I just crumpled it up really, really good. And then um, once it was crumpled up, I unraveled it. And then I went ahead and glued it. Um, and if it wasn't crumpled enough, I went ahead and just crumpled it some more. Because I really wanted it really crumpled. Kind of like leaves, you know? <laughs> so then I crumpled it up. And then I put it, uh, went ahead and put it on top of the um, leaf. Glued it on there. Okay, put glue on the leaf. And then sat it on there. Just patted it down, patted it down. 
and while it was wet okay or, or semi wet um, again you don't want this too sopping wet but you want it and wet enough to where it's going to crumple up okay and then again you want to just glue it to your leaf and then after I did that I went ahead and then papered the other side and then after and then cut it out and then um, and trimmed all the excess papers off um, once this was done drying, I inked it first with my Distress ink, and I used photo or Vintage Photo, and then I went ahead and I um, inked each leaf. I went ahead and used these little labels the, from the sticker book from scrapbook.com, and I was going to use the labels in here, but they didn't really have what I wanted. Um, so they have these little labels right here that are blank. So I just took a couple of them and I wrote down some of my messages. I did use one from the label area and that one was for the grateful piece of my little positive messages here. And um, then I went ahead and used my stickles and I used the, um, uh, what is this, one? platinum? And I went ahead and just outlined each little uh, phrase. And then I just kind of grabbed my finger and kind of went around each little uh, leaf with the little stickles uh, on my on my hand. <laughs> you can see the stickles still on my finger. <laughs> so, um, so that's what I did, how to make my leaves. Now, each of my leaves have a different message. And this one says, you can do anything. And I love that message because it's true. You can do anything you put your mind to, you know. Um, sometimes, you know, we have doubts that we can do things and stuff. And, and that's just a normal thing. Um, but really, you have the opportunity to do anything in your life. And, um, and you can, you know, do anything. So, um, so I really like that saying. And then here on this one, um, it says you are strong. And again, sometimes we feel, you know, like maybe, you know, we're not strong enough to do, not just strong muscular wise, <laughs> but strong enough to like, um, maybe face an obstacle or something and, but you are strong enough to do the things that you put your mind to or to get over that obstacle. Sometimes you just have to develop a plan to get over those things. And so, um, so I really like this one because it, it really has a meaning that you are stronger than you know. Um, just like you are tougher than you know, than you think you are. And so, um, so I really like this one because, um, you know, when my mom passed away, I really had a hard time and I just, you know, it, it I got depressed and, um, but I knew that she would want me to live a happy life. And so, um, having this, you are strong, you have to you know, it really kind of sunk into me as I was reading a book about how people have lost loved ones and, and how they found strength to go on and stuff like that. And so um, you are stronger than you know, than you think you are in, in a lot of ways, um, you know, and two, if you are an exerciser, <laughs> you are strong, you're strong enough to lift those weights or, or walk every day or, you know, things like that. So, <laughs> so that's a good one. Um, grateful. Um, I put grateful down here because I am grateful for everything. Uh, my family, my friends, um, my crafting community, uh, finding people that enjoy the same things that I enjoy. And I'm grateful to meet those people and um, spend time with my family and everything. So, yeah. So, um, and then the last one is believe in yourself. And I think that's a really important one, too, because it kind of goes along with um, being grateful. You are strong and you can do anything. And believing in yourself is really important. 
these are just certain things that I thought were positive messages for myself. And they may be positive messages for you, but meaning, it, yeah, but just have a different meaning to you. So anyway, that is my little project for today. And so I thought that this was really super cute. And I'm going to hang this up in my room so I can see it every day. <laughs> Um, I hope that you make one too. Uh, it was super easy to do. Um, took me just a few minutes, uh, you know, maybe maybe 30, you know, 30 minutes or so uh, to or so to make it just because you have to draw all the leaves out and then cut them out and then paper them and stuff. So, you know, but depending on if you're going to make it while you're watching TV, it just takes, you know, a few minutes to create this little banner and I thought it was something I'd like to share with you guys. So I hope that you found inspiration for um, today's project and um, next up is Patricia. So down below in the description box you'll want to go ahead and you'll want to click on her name and head over to her channel to see what she made today. Thanks again for joining me today for week number two. <laughs> Be back here next Saturday for week number three, where we are going to be doing Hey Pumpkin. So, and it's anything pumpkin. So that is going to be super fun. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Take care and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Thanks for joining me today, y'all. Don't forget that down here in both of these corners, I have some more fun crafty videos for you to view. And don't forget to hit that bell for future notifications on all upcoming live shows, tutorials, videos, and more.